Cutting a dark mode is a common situation for many developer-focused websites. Not only do a lot of developers consider using light mode a sin, but including a dark mode and a light mode gives your website that extra level of detail that makes it feel more polished. In this video, we're going to use two methods from ViewUse as well as Tailwind CSS to create our own dark mode in under a few minutes. Starting off, let's make sure that we have ViewUse slash core installed. And I'm also going to assume that you already have Tailwind set up in Vue, but if you don't, you can check out a short I made or go to the Tailwind documentation to set that up. Then let's open up the component that will act as our button. Inside our script, we want to import use dark and use toggle, and we can say const is dark equals use dark. And use dark provides a reactive dark mode variable that's automatically persisted inside session or local storage. So when our app starts, use dark will first check if there's a value between local and session storage. And if there is none, then it will use the system preference of the user. Then if we change is dark, let's say we're toggling from a dark mode to a light mode, then that value will get saved in our storage for future visits. One of the easiest ways to toggle this is dark value is to say const toggle dark equals use toggle and then pass it our is dark value. Then if we create a button, that when clicked calls toggle dark. And it's important that we actually use the parentheses to call this method. If we check the source code for the toggle method, we'll see that if toggle gets passed an argument, then we hit this if statement where we set our inner dot value to the value that we passed. However, we actually want to hit this else value, which actually handles the toggling of inner value. And if we don't use the parentheses, views event handlers naturally pass the event as our first argument, so this code never actually runs. Let's go back to our app, and when we hit our button, a class called dark gets added and removed from our HTML tag, depending on the value of is dark. There are some other ways to use the use dark composable, but we'll get into those later. For now, let's shift to making our tailwind styles so our dark mode and light mode actually look different. By default, Tailwind's dark mode uses the prefers color scheme CSS media feature. But since we're allowing users to manually toggle dark mode, we have to go to our Tailwind config file and set our dark mode strategy to class. Now, whenever the class dark is present earlier in the HTML tree, our element can use the dark modifier to specifically add classes when we're in the dark mode. For example, on our button, we can say that we want a background color of green in the light mode, but then for the dark mode, we can switch it to something else like purple. Now, if we go to our app, when we hit our button, the colors will switch since that dark class is available in that elements tree. One thing I like to do is go to app.view and in the styles section, we can target html.dark and set our color scheme to dark. This allows the operating system to make adjustments to the UI, like flipping system colors, changing the scroll bar and other things all depending on our color scheme. We can also set our own values for our dark mode background and text color, and those will be respected over the system colors. So now that we have the basics of our dark mode set up, let's take a look at some of the use dark and use toggle features that can take it to the next level. But first, I want to give a special thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Vue.js Forge. Vue.js Forge is a hackathon style event happening soon. It's organized by Vue School and is a cool hands-on event where you get to team up with fellow Vue enthusiasts and build a Trello clone from the ground up using tools like Pinia, Nux3, Vue Router, Vue Use, and others. There's going to be a ton of talented Vue experts there, including Evan Yu himself. Oh, and did I mention it's free? So make sure to check out the link in the description because it's happening in just a few days. All right, back to the video. There are a few different ways that we can customize use dark. There are four different properties that we can use to modify the selector that we're editing, the attribute that we're editing, and then the values of our dark and light. However, if we need more customization, we can actually hook directly into the unchanged event. And here we can update the DOM, but we can also do things beforehand, like store users preferences in a database by making an API call. And one more more general recommendation whenever you're using colors, but especially when we're worrying about two sets of themes, is to make sure that our colors are accessible and have enough contrast between our text color and our background color. There's tons of free tools for this to make sure that your websites have enough contrast. So that's all for this video. I hope you learned how you use can make it super simple to add a dark and light mode to your website. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next video.